Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to My Rental Girlfriends, part two. Yeah, I have to make these into like 50 minute videos because I don't have enough time because I have an interview to get to today. Uh, so, yeah, you're probably wondering what time. Well, that's actually going to be around 4 p.m. So, I have to hurry up and chill out this video. Uh, but I'm not going to rush it, I'm actually going to play it. So, let's get into it. <laughs> but when she walks closer, something seems familiar to me. What is, what is it? She looks at me with a wide, with wide-eyed surprise. That is a very disturbing face that I need to put into my album of anime creepiness. Just anime girl stuff. Don't worry about it. It's like she's making like a surprise Onisan face. I'm not happy with it. Ah, sorry. Need a little more water. Tonya, this is Ember Fox. Ember Fox, this is the beautiful Tonya. 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 Tonja. I don't fucking know. And that's when I realized something. She has magical powers? I don't fucking know. To be continued. Oh. Thanks, game. Are you telling me I have to go grind now? I hope not, because if I have to, that will, it'll suck. Stop fucking showing me that goddamn man, I'm so tired of it. I stare at Tonya with recognition. That's, that's my childhood friends. Fucking of course. You can't have one of these games without having a fucking childhood friend, like seriously, I'm, I'm fucking sick of it. Be original here, genius, please. Stop it with childhood friends, please. Please. Seriously. Break the cycle here, come on. If your next game has a childhood friends, I'm gonna be very disappointed with you, genius. Hey, I, I never thought I'd see her here. Why not? I thought she moved away. Away from you, yeah. Also, she changed her name? I'm, I'm pretty sure her name was, was Tessa. She clearly recognizes me as well. Tonya, or rather, Tessa, is acting fairly flustered. I guess I should try to make it seem like I don't recognize her. Otherwise, she'll feel too awkward. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. And I don't want to make her uncomfortable. Hey, t I mean, Tonya. I put my hand out. She shakes it gently. She knows. She heard that te, not the to. Nice to meet you. I'm Ember Fox, because that's not a weird name to have at all in one of these dating games. N n n nice to meet you too, Ember Fox. I wonder if she's still the same. I don't fucking care, I'm not going after her. <laughs> she always used to be so shy. That's a smile that I don't want, and actually, it, she creeps me out, I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised she's doing this. You and me both. My how the mighty have fallen. It's well out of her comfort zone. Or is it? Or maybe she's changed. Well, yeah. We can't stop staring at each other in a strange silence. Well, clearly you two have a connection. You're, you're very fucking wrong. She winks at us. Tessa blushes. I, I actually have to leave now. I have another client to meet. I, mean, I, I do need this face, however. Don't don't worry about it. I'll, I'll get late if I don't leave in a bit. She looks at us apologetically. What should I say? <laughs> oh, dude, I, I like I like how we have the option to be a smooth talking son of a bitch. It's my favorite play style in New Vegas. Smooth talking, convincing other people to kill each other. It's my favorite shit in Fallout. Well, you're worth waiting for, Tonya. Her face is the cutest shade of pink. I'm, I'm glad you think so. He's such a smooth talker, isn't he? Tessa nervously looks at her watch. Maybe we can exchange digits? I'd like to talk to you later. Tessa smiles at me, albeit a bit hesitantly. Of course. We exchange numbers, and I promise to call her later th at night. You could say later that night, or later at the night, or later in the evening. 
I'll see you later. How about tomorrow evening for dinner? It's on me. She hesitates for a second before responding. Yes, sounds good. I, I was trying. I thought that I thought she was just frowning. I didn't know her mouth was. Open. I had to, like really look. I was like, why oh, she has such a tiny mouth? Bye, Selena. Bye, Ever Fox. Fare thee well. With another cute, uh, shy smile, she walks away. So, what did you think? She's, she's fucking hideous. No, I'm kidding. She's a, she's a, she's adorable. I guess. I told you. I know she's a bit shy. But it's just that she's new to all this, and she hasn't been picking up as fast. But she's very gentle and sweet. She's too innocent and sweet for me. I like my women a bit tainted. I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not choosing. Well... No, like, you know what? I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go down that path. You should give her a chance. No. She's too innocent. She's she's too fucking innocent. I can't I can't. I can't I can't defile that innocence with my de my degeneracy. I I can't. I think about Tessa's pretty face and the familiarity of the childhood we had together remains. But now she's a stunningly beautiful woman. Oh, this this is taking the turn for the hentai. This this is pure hentai material, breaking innocence like it's her hymen. And as soon as I saw her, my heart fluttered. Well, that's, that's not healthy. You should go get checked up for that shit. I... I, I plan to. Selena gives me a naughty smile. Looks like you already have a crush. Yeah, I do. <laughs> On Lady Genocide only. Fucking thought. I scratch the back of my head sheepishly. I'm just... by curious I mean, curious... Come on, be honest. Don't, don't try to play the bigger sister here. You, don't do that to me. Don't, don't get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get, get out of here. God, get the fuck out of here with that. That's you're nasty, Selena. What the fuck? What should I say? You're still my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still my favorite. It's it's your she's your first and your favorite. Okay, I see how it is. No one can compare it to you. Oh come on, meet her and actually talk to her. <laughs> yep, my compliment just went down the drain. I just like my happiness. She might end up becoming your new favorite. I don't think it's it's right to pick and choose your favorites when it comes to people, but. Okay, but since these anime girls are not people, but I treat them like people, uh, it makes my videos a lot more interesting, at least to me, and probably to the people who watch my videos. <laughs> Make sure you keep the excitement alive, then. She ruffles my hair. Don't fucking, don't, don't do that to me. I have to go now. Okay, great, so we have, we have ourselves an Oni-chan. That's right, with two E's, we got the double E-chans. That's right, that's what we fucking got here. She's playing the big sister card. Or like that cool laid back friend you have. I bet these two have like, I bet all three of these characters have some dark ass fucking shit going on, dude. And if I were to play the entire game all the way through, it would be interesting. I have to go now. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great time. Thanks. She leaves and I walk towards school. Okay. Hope I won't be late. I try to walk at a quicker pace than usual. I'm late, but I managed to slip in unnoticed. Sneak skill. Went to 56. Class carries on. I can't pay any attention. I got my I got my mind on titties. All I can think of is Tessa, Tonya, titties. Uh, I'm Tony Ted Terrace Terrace t titties. Apparently, Matthew pokes in my shoulder. Fuck! What was the what was the point they did for Matthew? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lost in the thoughts about your new girlfriend? I blush. Like a, like a, like a, like a schoolgirl. <laughs> what should I say? Yeah. 
That's actually exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Matthew shakes his head. Get the fuck out of here. With your fucking your hentai MC hair. I wish I could stay on fo focus on one girl at a time. Are you telling me you're getting more than one puss puss? You're getting multiple puss puss? Dude, that's not right, man. Unless you're in a fucking poly relationship, that's not cool, man. I can't help but smile. The school bell rings and we file out yet again. This time, I don't want to meet my friends after- I don't, Oh, I don't wait to meet my friends after class. I make my way home immediately. Okay. So this is why people become di this is why people become different after getting a girlfriend. Okay, dude. And I don't even really have one yet. I reach home and I immediately I go to my bedroom and whip out the doujins. But not before taking a quick peek into my mother's bedroom to see if she's still there. Oh, please tell me this is not gonna go in the direction I think it is. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I sigh. Oh, thank God. I thought we were about to have some fucking really bad hentai milf shit go on. I sigh. It's empty. Just like my entire brain. I feel like I haven't seen her in days. I wonder if, she, if I should try to call her. But she might be busy. What should I do? Text your mom. I decide to send her a text instead. Oh, they're still using that same uh, phone thingy. Cool. Hey, mom. Haven't seen you in a while. Is everything okay? She messages back after a couple of minutes. Hello, baby! Yes! All is well! Sorry about that! You know how it is during peak season! But I'll see you soon! Love you loads! I sigh. I sure do miss her. Even if she does shout at me. <laughs> I walk to my own room. Hmm. Although I am tempted to call Tessa. Uh, fuck, I mean Tonya. I need to get used to that. Don't don't forget to cross your T's and cross the right T's here, pal. Though I'm tempted to call her, maybe I should just text her. I don't want to come on too strong. What should I do? Well, you have the greatest Casanova here, who is clearly fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to spend time fucking grinding for fucking coins right now. Because I have to I have shit I have to do today. <laughs> so let's see. Will text her? No. Will I fucking Well fucking no? I don't I don't know. I, you know what? I'm broke and I can't grind right now, so I have to go with option number two. I'm sorry guys. I decided to text her. Hi Tessa. Just to confirm I just want to confirm. How are we are meeting tomorrow evening for dinner, yes? I hit send, and my eyes widen in shock. No, you're an ugly piece of shit. I hope you fucking die. Go kill yourself, fucking weeb faggot. Oh, thanks. It's just like real life. Oh, no. I accidentally called her by her by her real name. I wait paralyzed for a few seconds until she replies. Um, why did you call me that? That's your fucking name, isn't it? No point in keeping it a secret now. I just knew from the beginning, I just didn't want you to feel awkward. Dot dot. Sweet of you. I was hoping it wouldn't make things weird. Oh, it makes everything weird. You just fucking threw this goddamn game in for a fucking loop. Because you had to add the fucking childhood friend into the fucking game. Yes, I realize there are people who like childhood friend characters. I'm not fucking one of them. Okay, because I don't fuck my friends. Sorry, my throat was becoming hoarse. Since I was planning on telling you, anyway. I know all, I see all, and I fap to all. I am a degenerate. I'm kidding, I don't, I don't fap to everything. Of course not. More excited now, if anything. Oh, you're coming on too eager, pal. LOL! Good to know! See you there! That's fucking amazing. I take a few deep breaths. Breathes. I was, I was gonna laugh, it said breathes. So we're both on the same page now, although she's in a different chapter than I am. Now to wait for tomorrow. I lay my head on my on the pillow and fall asleep, completely exhausted. I groan as soon as I wake up. Ah! I ain't living. Okay, I'm awake. 
I'm not looking forward to another day at school. I never did. In the last year of high school, where I went to school for, like, every other day for, like, two months and then just stopped going to school, period. You know, I had that, I had that happen to me. I just didn't want to fucking go to school because I felt nauseous every time I went to school for some reason. Since I got off the retard rocket, which is a short bus, uh, fucking, I stepped foot on that ground. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to fucking be here. I want to die. I want to get out of here. I got to get out of here. And you know what I ended up doing? I ended up walking around the school and not smoking the marijuanas. Especially not if I have a hot date awaiting me in the evening. Got to look. Prep. But I still go through the motions. Okay, fucking geez, dude. I didn't know you're going through menopause. It's an extra long day at school. I sit for all my classes, but my mind is miles away. When the final bell rings, I almost run out. I can feel Matthew and Joe's glares upon me. Now they're getting a taste of their own medicine. And where do you think you're going, bruh? Yeah, seems like you're in quite the fucking hurry, aren't you, you little bitch? Fucking faggot. What should I say? I have a date. With whom, bro? Yeah, uh, obviously with his fucking girlfriend. Because he's going around now, talking about how he's got this girlfriend. He's fucking bullshit. He's fucking trash. And everyone knows it. And we're just fucking... We're going through with this bullshit because we're his fucking friends and we don't want him to fucking feel bad. Fucking trash. Yeah, who else? Matthew shrugs. It's not like I'm dating guys right now. <laughs> I'm just, just making sure, bro. I'm just making sure you're staying loyal to your girl, bro. Keeping tabs on your loyalty, man, because that's part of the bro kid. I roll my eyes. I finally run home after quickly waving goodbye to them. I quickly get ready, changing into my other best outfit. How many... How many best outfits do you have? I look at my face in the mirror. I'm ugly! Alright. Not too bad. <laughs> Wish I could do that. After trying to get my hair into a better shape... Good luck with that shit, man. My hair's like curly and wavy, so it, it literally, it, there is no fighting it. You just have to accept how it is. I finally feel ready. I make my way to the restaurant. I, I wait for Tessa at the table, feeling slightly awkward. I feel like I'm being surrounded by capus. I wonder how many of them are real. Dude, chill out. And how many are rental girlfriends? What is wrong with you, dude? Jesus. But my thoughts are interrupted by Tessa. Hey, Ember Fox. Sorry I'm late. No problem. You're worth the wait. She smiles at me, making my heart a flutter yet again. You guys, they better not fucking push me to like her, like the character in uh, fucking my mafia girlfriend was pushed to fucking like Ray so much because that shit's gonna piss me off. Nessa and I start to walk after we order some food. She's a bit quiet and nervous. On the other hand, I find it easy to carry the conversation forward. I wonder if it's because we know each other from before. Or if it's because I feel more confident with her. So, if you don't mind me asking, what made you become a rental girlfriend? Are you surprised? I have some very strong opinions about this, so if I voice them, I'm probably not going to get met with the best reception, so I'm going to stay quiet on my opinion here. I just, like, never pegged you for the type. She smiles but looks away. That's probably part of the reason why. I've had intense social anxiety. So you became a rental girlfriend because you have social anxiety and you're trying to use it to get over it, your social anxiety? I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fucking stupid. But I can see why, why someone would think that that may or may not work. I guess you know about this to some extent. Even though we were close, you saw how I was with others. I nod, remembering the times when she would get bullied. 
Who would bully this innocent bitch? I wouldn't. So when I got older, around when I moved anyway, I decided out that I wanted to fix it. Oh, I'm glad one of us was able to fix our problem. I was willing to do anything. No comment. And I got the chance. No comment! To do this. No comment! Oh, okay. It was really like a form of self-therapy. I can, I can tell you all about self-therapy. Okay? It sometimes it doesn't work. What should I say? I actually want to. I actually want to know. Doesn't it make things worse? I mean, you're with strangers. Doesn't that amplify your anxiety? I, I don't think it'll. I don't think it works that way with her. If it's just like one random person, but you know. On the contrary, the, anonymi <laughs> the anonymity, and the fact that they don't know me, that they don't even know my real name, actually helps me feel more confident. Wow, interesting. Did you do a lot of research beforehand? She shakes her head. It was more of an impulse, really. I saw the advertisement and decided to apply. I don't like saying advert, it's fucking stupid, alright? My logic was that it would compel me to have interactions with strangers. This doesn't, this doesn't reek of emergence or metamorphosis at all. And I can get paid at the same time. Yeah, this doesn't fucking reemerge even! <laughs> Oh, there's so much porn here that could be made. Starting to wonder now. <laughs> Suddenly she gets hesitant. Do do you have any issues with that? What should I say? I don't feel great about it. Well, to be honest, I don't feel great about it. Not because I judge you, I'm judging you very harshly. But because I'm worried for your safety. That's it, right there. Tessa shrugs. That's not unreasonable at all. I'm glad she's I'm glad she's smart enough to see that. Sometimes the clients I get, they're just awful. Well, sometimes there's a good reason why people don't have girlfriends. And I could probably come up with a few for me. I don't need one, it's just I don't think I'm ready for one. <laughs> she puts her head in her hands and her pretty eyes are just shut. That is a hint I face right there if I've ever fucking seen one. Is she- is she crying? Tessa, what's wrong? Some customers are just so annoying. They keep asking for things that they aren't supposed to ask for. Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing that at some point, some of these things may have happened. That's not good. As I always say in my videos, don't ever force anyone to do anything. If they want to do it, they'll do it. You know? If, if you ask someone to do something and they don't want to do it, that's fine. You don't have to force anyone to do anything. Alright? So don't. Unless, it, unless they know how to disarm a bomb, then you, you fucking demand that, that you put a fucking gun up to their head and you say, you gotta d disarm this fucking bomb or you're gone. Alright? That's like, that's like the only acceptance thing I see here. And you keep and you keep saying no, but they refuse to listen. It makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, some guys don't take no for an answer. It makes my anxiety much worse sometimes. Yep, I can see that. I know dealing with people like that is part of life. It's part of the life you're kind of deciding to live with your line of work here. But you know, yeah, normally in, like, other jobs, like grocery store clerks and shit, yeah, you, you have to deal with people like that sometimes, too. But sometimes I feel like I'm not equipped to handle it. Probably be because you're not. Did you did you ever think of that? Like, getting, in, you know, another job, like, that isn't as dangerous? Like, having a desk job? You never know. She starts to cry, but tries to hide it. Don't... Don't, don't cry on our first date with the... What the fuck's wrong with you, man? Jesus Christ. Get your shit together, woman. My heart softens at the sight of her pretty face. God, fucking... Calm down. You fucking... <laughs> this guy just really wants a girlfriend. <laughs> and it's sickening. 
All I want to do is take her in my arms and tell her it'll be okay. Yeah, okay, guys, when it comes to this, you, you, sometimes you have to say it's going to be okay even if the world's fucking collapsing. Just saying. But is that appropriate? Not particularly. What should I do? I wouldn't have chosen the first option anyway, because no, that's not appropriate. You may know her, but you guys haven't seen each other in a while, and doing that might be taken, um, taken the wrong way. So, I would not have chosen option number one anyway. And it's not because I don't have rubies right now. Tessa, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to be equipped to handle it. This sort of thing shouldn't happen at all. But it does. It's not your fault. Or your lack of ability to hide it. That isn't the problem. You should just carry a fucking knife. But carrying a knife can go two ways. That isn't the problem. The problem is those sick men. Those degenerates that force people. That, yeah, never force anyone to do anything. Like I, like I keep saying, never force anyone to do a damn thing. Unless it's disarming a bomb. Like I said, you put a fucking gun to their head and you tell them to disarm that goddamn bomb. Especially if there's a bunch of innocent people around. And I will agree that in some of the hentai categories I've looked out of pure curiosity, I regretted it immediately and I found some things that I wish I'd never fucking seen. And uh, those things will stay forever burned into my memory as I know what they are and they are fucking terrible. Believe me, they're... They are not what you want to fap to, man. Sometimes I think they're just there as fucking nightmare porn. Tessa nods. You're, you're right. I need to stop blaming myself. Yes. I need to stop accepting this type of behavior. Yes. You're, you're... Thank you for reminding me that I can do that. No problemo. I needed that. I'm I'm glad that I was here to help you. We do a fist bump. That is so bro. She smiles at me. I'm so glad I met you, Ember Fox. Well, it's another anime girl that says that, girl. This is so refreshing, especially in this line of work. Sorry I had to be under these circumstances. Glad I could be of some assistance. I have another annoying client tomorrow. He always asks me to, to do things I'm uncomfortable with. Like what? I, I, I need to know. This is, this is actually a little bit... I just feel like torture a little bit, not knowing. He's never really tried to go beyond just asking. But he still scares me sometimes. I'm so sorry, Tessa. Suddenly, Tessa looks up at me. Hey. Can I ask you for a favor? As long as it's not like the one he's going to ask you. To be continued. There's one angry face. Will I keep going? Yes, because we are not at 40-something minutes. Don't worry, I will make an hour-long video of, of this series. Don't worry about it. Stop giving me that fucking goddamn ad, please. I'm so sick of seeing that fucking ad. <laughs> will you? Will you be my chauffeur tomorrow? Yeah, but what the fuck am I gonna do? I'll, I'll bring my fucking gentleman katana for for my for my date. She looks down as she says this, obviously feeling a bit embarrassed. I, uh. She looks at me, up at me pleadingly. Y you won't? It's, it's just that... What should I say? I might feel jealous? No, darling, you do not say that to a lady. No. No, Mr. Porter. Alright, so here's the one we fucking go with. We go with, I'm worried about you. I'd be constantly be worried something bad will happen. Tessa smiles slightly. It's so sweet of you to care. But think of it this way. You'll be making me feel so much safer. I like how it's emboldened. <laughs> like, holy shit. Is that, a, is that a new thing they're going to try? Like, I, I didn't think of it like that. So, will you? 
I smile at her. If there's an option to say no and I actually have to go grind for the fucking answer, I will. I'm not kidding. Yes. Okay, cool. I didn't get an option. That's, that's fucking cool. Thanks, game. I will. Tessa smiles, her face getting brighter and even prettier than I thought possible. Calm the fuck down, dude. Your heart boner is like 35 inches right now. Suddenly, it all seems worth it. Dude, no woman can make it seem like that, dude. I hate to burst your bubble. Maybe I just haven't found the right one, but... It's not that they're not all worth it, it's just that some of them are not worth it at all because they're terrible human beings. But hey, there's, there's a lot of good ones out there, too. I can't believe I had second thoughts. It's okay, you're, you're a guy, you don't have to do everything. You're a man, you, you can cry too. It's alright. We finish dinner and I pay the bill. Of course we do. Of course. So, would you, would you like to walk me home? Oh, being invited to a rental girl's home. Hmm. Doesn't break a hentai at all. My heart skips a beat. Why, of course, my lady. We head outside. I thought we were outside! We slowly walk the way to Tessa's house. We chat idly, and it feels incredibly easy to be with her. I glance down at her hands. It's at her side, and she's walking very close to me. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you, don't you, don't you fucking, don't you do it, dude. Every now and then, it seemed like she was reaching out, but would hesitate. What should I do? Well, there's so many fucking ruby options here. <laughs> keep, keep talking. I ignore the strong urge inside of me, just to hold her, to just hold her hands. Dude, you really have a hand thing, don't you? Okay, so like, I'm actually gonna give you guys a little bit of an artist tip here. Alright, so like, when I first started drawing, like, and I mean like actually, you know, working hard and fucking drawing and shit, I tried to make sure that I would master the hands and the arms first, and then like I would work with the face uh, later on. Like, when I first started to learn how to draw, I would just do hands. And I have a lot of really good hand drawings and stuff. But yeah, uh, if you're planning on drawing like a fucking pro, make sure you get the hands first. Hands and eyes are honestly what you want to work with. Um, because those are actually some of the hardest things. Like, move your hand around a little bit, like, while you're drawing, like, you know, just like, if you're, like, trying to draw your hand, like, in a fist, make sure you, you know, you count for, you know, each lo uh, knuckle elevation and just the details and, like, the, like, where your skin is, you know, how you have, like, lined, it's kind of like, you're, like, if you look really close at your skin, it's like a little tiny scale, you know? Okay, just make sure, you know, you get, like, all the, all the skin around the knuckles, like, all the, de like, the little details and creases and stuff, so... Just, just a tip. It makes all the efforts I can muster to start a conversation and distract myself. So, how's your family? Tessa suddenly turns her face. Don't mind me just snorting cocaine over here. I'm kidding. Can we not talk about them, please? Sure. I wish I could kick myself. How could I bring that up? I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, they're the last people I want to think about while I'm working. I didn't realize you were still fucking working! So, this is... This is work for you. Tessa shrugs. Technically, yes. And what does that mean? It means that this should be work. But I can't help how I feel. What? And... How do you feel? It doesn't matter. Okay, I thought we were going to have a nice little moment there. You wouldn't get it. I'm not stupid, you know. <laughs> Try me. Tesla just smiles at me sadly. Never mind. I was being silly. I think we almost got a, con a love confession there, boys. And, and girls. And anything, any other gender that I don't know the name of. But what are you talking about? There's no point. Why is she saying that with a smile? Suddenly she stops. She looks over her shoulder. This is my house. I'll see you later, okay? You know, if this were any other game, I would believe her. But for some reason, 
with my degenerate mind, I doubt that this is her house. But if this does end up being her house, then that will just show how filthy my mind is. Wait. I have a favor to ask of you as well. I need a plus one for a group date with my friends over the weekends. Will you be around? Of course. Just like you'll be here for me tomorrow. With one parting smile, she walks inside. Don't forget the condoms. Okay, that was that was a bit of a tasteless joke. All right, I, I got it. I got it. Tone down with the joke, Summer Fox. Like, okay, I got it. Okay, jeez. I turn around, ready to go back home. I walk home, thinking of tomorrow's plan. I wonder what uh, Tessa means by chauffeuring her. I can't even drive. I can't be a bodyguard either. What good are you? I don't have a license, but I know how to drive. <laughs> I guess I can call the cops if anything untoward happens. I hope it won't. You might as well put fucking the magical three digits on the fucking speed dial, man. Suddenly, a familiar voice calls my name. Ember Fox, what are you doing out so late at night? I can ask you the same fucking thing, Celia! No, her name's C Selena. <laughs> Fuck, I keep calling her Celia. <laughs> Why can't I not get their names right? Maybe it's because I'm playing like eight different fucking games. <laughs> I spot Selena looking as stunning as always. Under the moonlight, she appears all the more radiant. Her hair glistens. Her eyes sparkle like a puddle of piss. <laughs> it gets my loins a stirring. Oh, Selena! What should I say? What are you doing out so late? Okay. What are you doing out so late? Selena laughs. He got me. Oh, I knew you were a fucking prostitute. You can't fool me. I've met a few in my life. I never did anything with them, just so you know. I never did anything. Oh, same here. I'm just walking back from a date. Would you like to walk back together? Selena smiles slyly. A date, eh? She wiggles her eyebrows adorably. Dude, stop falling in love with every fucking girl you look at, dude. Jesus fucking Christ, calm down. It's okay to think with your heart, but use your fucking brain, too. Occasionally use your dick. But not often. That's a rare use. And it's gonna be if you keep this shit up, man. With Tessa? I nod, smiling, and I can't help but feel my face get a bit warm. Gosh, you two are too cute. How'd it go? It was nice. We had a great time. She asked me to be her chauffeur for tomorrow. For a date? Yeah. S uh, Selena nods with understanding. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Okay, so she's probably seeing what we call a difficult client. Oh, so you mean a horny old bastard who's rich as fuck, has a really shitty job, has a lot of sexual frustration, can't get a real girlfriend... Is probably extremely overweight and is, and is seeing his youth slip by his fingers like it's sand. Gotcha. And also, he's insanely horny, has really fucked up fetish that gets put on fucking N Henta. Gotcha. Someone whom we don't feel comfortable around. Ah, so neckbeards! There's a lot of peace in mind having someone you trust nearby. Well, that, shit, we form trust like fucking, like instantly, man. Damn. I mean, fucking, she knows me, she sees me for a fucking day, she's like, I trust you with my, I trust you with my life, my soul, my butthole virginity. And I'm just like, well, I just fucking met you, but hi. You know? Oh, I'm surprised she asked me then. Of course she did. You make people feel safe and comfortable. I've only been told this once in my, in, in real life, so. Because you're such a gentleman. That's not why, in real life, but let's go with that. She gave me such a beautiful and genuine smile. Not gonna lie, but she looks like a girl that would be in fucking hentai. I'm not kidding. I've seen so many characters that look a lot like her in some very fucked up hentai mangas. So it's hard to not. It's it's hard for me to not fucking see her that way. Okay. They'll be doing something really nice if you agree to show for her. You know, it'll make a difficult time go much better. Oh, in that case, 
I'll do it gladly. Good. All right, I should go back now. I'm glad things are going well with Tessa. She gives me a quick hug before walking away, her perfume still lingering in the air. Is she? Oh, okay. So I thought like on her waist, like she had like some tattoos or something, but no, it's just the shadows from her jacket. It's kind of weird. Thanks. This is feeling. This is feeling like a fucking porn game. I don't mean to be a perv here, but this really feels like a porn game. This feels like the porn games I would play in my late teens, because I got bored. I go on Newgrounds, and I play fucking dating sim games. That, and then fucking they have, like, a couple of sex scenes. That's, that's, that's how this fucking game feels, okay? And you had to, like, manage your fucking money, and potions, and fucking random food shit, and you had to buy gifts for these virtual girls so they'd like you, so you'd get, like, one or two saucy sex scenes. That's how this game feels. But it's on Google Play, so they won't let that shit happen. I'm exhausted, and so the first thing I do is get into my bed. As soon as I shut my eyes, I'm fast asleep. Dot dot dot. A loud beep of my phone wakes me up. I rub my eyes and pick it up. It's a text from Tessa. Hey Amberfox, sorry to bother you, but my client pre- Pre-pwned? pre pwned You mean postponed? Pre-boned my date. It's postponed, I'm guessing. He wants to meet at the park in the afternoon. That doesn't scream I'm gonna rape you at all. Holy shit. Let me get my Mac 10 out. See you there in a couple of hours. Maybe the next video. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry, it's, yeah, it's another 41, 40 something minute video, but don't worry, I'm gonna get an hour long video out. I just have a lot to do today, and I and I had to get a video out because it's Wednesday. So I felt like you know I have to get one video out or two uh, to make up for the for me not having an hour long video uh, because it takes a lot of time to compile and put together. And this game just came out today, so I really wanted to hop on that as soon as I could. Uh, but the next video will most likely be my robot girlfriend or will be my zombie girlfriend. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm also to the point where I was on the, my elf girlfriend uh, video. Uh, the last one so i hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video and enjoy the game as well i would put a fucking link to where you guys could download it but i tried doing that with my other video and it, and it wouldn't let me so anyway hope to see you guys in the next video if you enjoyed let me know you guys still have to subscribe you don't have to like you just gotta let me know what you think of the of the game so far and if you're a de dirty degenerate like myself then you know yeah this is this is this sounds like so much like a fucking porn game it's hard not to think of it like that but anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Go ahead and play the game yourself. Uh, go to their Facebook page and you can download it, okay? It's just Genius Bashuyo or Bashujo or something. Anyway, just type in Genius and and then Bish and you'll find it. It's Genius Bish, B-I-S-H. And it'll probably pop up on Facebook. So anyway, see you guys in the next video and hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave me a comment on the, in the comment section. Bye!